years back, uh, ago in history, or 500 or 1,000 years ago in history, and that, then you make that as your benchmark. So against that benchmark, you're trying to judge it now. But I think that is, uh, will not be, to me, it's, that's not a good idea, because my benchmark is different. You understand? I should not be judged from the standpoint, from the benchmark or yardstick of something which was in the past, what is the present yardstick? Judge me on that basis. Okay, so if I say that uh, there are too many cyber narratives in the present day, then uh, I think my feeling is that we will be committing mistakes. Mm -hmm. Though I am not saying that they were irrelevant, they should be completely uh, you know, thrown out of the context and uh, they should not be discussed. No, that's not the idea. That's be really a foolish um, yeah, that uh, you know, suggestion. Mm -hmm. The point that I am trying to make is that you know, things are in the process of evolution. You know, you, you, or you can do everything, but you cannot stop the very process of evolution. Social evolution, cultural evolution, technological evolution. You know, things will happen. You know, the moment we try to, you know, fixate it somewhere in the past and say, oh, past was good and past was glorious and uh, everything should be looked in the context of past. Why? Why? The question is that <clears throat> if you are trying to analyze, let's say, the social narratives, which are being created not in literature, but in political science, but in sociology, but in, uh, let's say, uh, psychology, case, cases and all that that you discuss there, aren't they part of narrative? It's one of the proofs that you uh, develop about them. So that, that makes all the difference.